Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. More DJI Mini 5 Pro leaks and then a possible release date. We have the Department of Commerce to release regulation around trade and importation of drones. That's not good news. And then finally, we have a 30 mile medical delivery by drone in Kansas. Let's get to it. And first up this week, it looks like the DJI Mini 5 Pro is right around the corner. Uh, trustworthy sources and leaked images are pointing to a September 16 launch, which is next week, with the drone hitting the shelves as soon as September 17th. Now the marketing slogan here is Pro and Mini, and based on the leaked images, they are not kidding. The biggest news here is that they apparently were able to manage a one inch sensor inside of a sub 250 gram drone. Now the camera is rumored to have an F over 1.8 lens, which would be fantastic for the low light performance and those that are looking for that kind of photos or videos. Uh, leaked photos also clearly show what looks like a forward facing LiDAR, which would help with obstacle avoidance. We've seen those on other models in the past. And it also would look like it would help uh, protecting the newer gimbal that is a little bit bigger. The European pricing has also been spotted and based on the model, it looks like the screenless RCN3 controller uh, with the drone would be starting at $799 and then the fly more combo which has the rc2 controller is expected to be at uh, 1129 dollars uh, there's even rumors that you might be able to use your mini 3 and your mini 4 batteries in this new mini 5 which would be pretty awesome now one major catch obviously especially given the next story is that the mini 5 probably will not be available in the united states just like the mavic 4 was not uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one Next up, according to a report from Reuters, uh, the US Commerce Department will release regulation to address a national security risk. Uh, these rules will target the information and communication technology in drones from China and other foreign adversaries. While the announcement didn't give specific details, the action follows the ANPRM, the Advanced Notice of Proposed Rulemaking that we saw earlier this year in January, I think it was. It's important to note that the uh, ANPRM is and was separate from the existing audit requirement this is completely different that was set in the uh, 2024 NDA uh, for DJI and for Autel. Now it's important to note here that nearly 80% of the US consumer and commercial drone market is uh, using DJI drones at the moment. We do want to support a secure American drone industrial base, but the reality here is that there is no direct affordable alternative for the consumer and the small business right now. A sudden ban will create major disruption, there is no doubt here, and will result in the loss of uh, potentially tens of thousands of small businesses in the United States, uh, destroying the current industry. We've been very vocal about this, and the more, the closer we get and the more we hear about these uh, potential bans, the more we're gonna mention it. Uh, at this time, there is no preview of what the draft text of the ruling would be from the Department of Commerce, but we'll keep you updated on this one. Uh, this is definitely concerning. Last up, Kansas just made history with the state's first ever long-range medical drone delivery. In the landmark test flight, the community healthcare system used a PICA autonomous drone to deliver an AED to a rural hospital in Onaga. The 30-mile flight took only 30 minutes, a journey that would have taken a courier van over an hour, which is a big deal. Now, the drone used here was the PICA Pelican Cargo, uh, which is a VTOL aircraft that has a 70 kilogram or 150 pound payload and in a range of 200 miles. We've talked about this drone actually in the past. It's really uh, interesting looking. Uh, for this mission, the drone flew autonomously along the pre-approved FAA flight plan. Uh, the project was in collaboration between the healthcare system, Kansas State University, and the Kansas Department of Transportation. Now, this is a great use of drone if you ask me, especially when it comes to drone delivery. Uh, I think this is one of the best use cases for uh, drone delivery, in my opinion. Now, before we go, I do want to mention this thing right here. This is our new mug. It is available for purchase. Uh, we're going to put a link down in the description. 12 ounces, right-handed and left-handed mug. This is the best kind of mug. And then uh, keeps the temperature actually for a very long time. So if you want your own Pyro Institute mug, check out the video, uh, check out the link in the description, not the video, this is the video. All right, on post-flight, our show where we discuss these stories and share our opinions, we're also going to be talking about our comments for the uh, Part 108 NPRM. Uh, there's a video coming up on that on Monday. We're hoping to release it. Uh, I hope to see you for that video and then also on Monday for the live as always. And and have a great weekend. We'll see you then. Yep. I was 
joking it but also not no it's i think 16 um, pages right now it's uh, the, prop yeah. the proposal is 16 pages. yeah we're not just recommending a comment um no we're proposing a lot of, the whole thing oh i know yeah. yeah and you've done a lot of research behind the scenes and not just with us here but also with industry folks all across yeah the we board, wrote a full so. nprm technically yeah. with that's, a that's proposed that's regulation good, yeah. which is good that's that's the way it should be because that's going to help the fa see the the, the visual mm -hmm.